to St. Mark Family, Youth, and Children Time. Good morning. Have you ever been thirsty? Can you tell me what it feels like to be thirsty? Right, your mouth gets all dry and your throat gets dry and sometimes you cough and just really, really want something to drink? Yeah, that's right. Well, that's a good description of what it means to be thirsty, so thank you for that. Now, can you tell me what helps you not to be thirsty? Right, water, best choice ever. Yep, Gatorade. Juice. Oh, tea or coffee? Those are all good answers. But what if you were really thirsty and I gave you, oh, I don't know, some crackers? Would that help your thirst? No? Well, why not? Oh, it only make you thirstier? Yeah, I guess you're right. What if I gave you a pile of salt? Would that help? No? Are you sure? No, it wouldn't help at all, right? Okay. So, what would happen if we kept eating things that didn't help our thirst? What would happen to us? You're right. We'd not feel very good at all. So, this thirsty word mostly gets used in a way we just talked about. Our throats and mouths get all dry and maybe even raw and we cough a bit. And we need something cool and wet to make it feel better. And if we don't drink something, then our bodies don't do too well. We don't feel too well. In a different way, our mind and our heart and our soul can get thirsty for God's love. But you know what we sometimes do? We sometimes try to give our hearts, minds, and souls something else for that thirst. And that doesn't work out very well for us, just like eating crackers and a pile of salt won't help a thirsty person. In today's Gospel reading, this is the kind of thirst that Jesus is talking about with the woman at the well. The woman has been giving things to her thirsty heart, soul, and mind that left her feeling not very good. And Jesus knows this. This is why he tells her, Ask for living water, so you'll never be thirsty again. Why don't we read about the woman at the well, adapted from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John, chapter 4, verses 5 to 42. One day, Jesus and his friends were on a long walk. They were traveling a long way from home, and it was hot. Jesus was tired. I'm going to sit here by this well, said Jesus. How about you all go into town and get us some food? So there he sat, hot and tired and thirsty. About lunchtime, a woman came up the road with her empty water jar. Now, people in that place didn't have faucets with running water in their homes. They had to walk to a well and bring water home that they needed for the day. And usually groups of people would go to the well together. It was hard work. But if they went together, they could talk with their friends and make the best of it. And usually they came home early before the day got too hot. But this woman came all alone and it was at the hottest time of the day. When she got there, Jesus talked to her. First, he asked her to help him get some water to drink. Then he talked with her about a whole lot of other things. The woman was very surprised that Jesus talked to her. She thought, Why is this man being so friendly to me? He's from the country of Judea, and I'm from the country of Samaria. People from our two countries are enemies. They hate each other. He shouldn't be talking to me. But Jesus was friendly and kind to her. She thought, Why is this man being so friendly to me? He's a man, and I'm a woman and a stranger. Men and women stay separate in our culture. Men only talk to women if they are relatives. He shouldn't be talking to me. But Jesus was friendly and kind to her. 
she thought. Why is this man being so friendly to me? Nobody likes me. Everybody thinks I'm a bad person. That's why I have to come to the well alone, in the hottest part of the day. If he knew about me, he would never be talking to me. But Jesus actually knew all about her, and Jesus was friendly and kind to her. Jesus was kind to all kinds of people. If people were from other countries, Jesus was kind to them. If people were different from him, as women and men are different, Jesus was kind to them. If people were unpopular and other people were mean to them, Jesus was still kind to them. And you know what? Because the woman at the well listened to Jesus, it helped her to know what her heart, mind, and soul needed, which made her so excited that she went and shared with everyone who was near her what she had learned from Jesus. And that led to all the people in the town choosing to go and listen to Jesus. So Jesus stayed there for two more days to talk to them about how they could receive God's love. And the same thing is true for us. As we listen to and learn from Jesus about God's love that our hearts and minds are thirsty for, then we can better receive God's love and share it with those around us. And that is the good news for today. So let's pray. Dear God, Dear God, Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Who teaches us about your living water who teaches us about your living water. Help us to receive and then share. Help us to receive and then share. Your living water. Your living water. Thank you and amen. Thank you and amen. Superheroes jump up and shout. Hey! Superheroes stand up and shout. Hey! Superhero, jump up and shout Hey! Superhero! Action heroes are okay Fantasy in action Spider-Man's a swing and ride He's a big attraction We love the Incredibles But they're just cartoon masters So if you want the real deal what you're after My God is big The one who created Earth and sky And like a blinding light He's shining bold and bright And on and on His love is flowing To us deep and wide For Jesus paid the price And for that sacrifice